What's up everyone, it's your boy Brandon and we're back with another rotisserie chicken recipe. This one is gonna be a really lean one. You guys who are doing uh, some type of a cut. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. High in protein, uh, low in carbs. This is an excellent recipe that you're gonna love. We're gonna have our rotisserie chicken, zucchini, squash, combo. So a couple of the ingredients that we're gonna be using for this recipe, some type of lubricant that you're gonna use in the saucepan. Um, I use grapeseed oil. This one's pretty good. It's healthy. Uh, it's a saturated fat, which means it doesn't clump up and get solid when it's in cool temperatures. With a little bit of pepper, uh, instead of using salt, uh, I like to kick it up a little bit. I like my food spicy, so we're gonna use a little bit of tahini. Get calor. This and use this in some of your fruit seasonings over the summertime. Gives it a great flavor. If you're not a huge fan of tahini, that's okay. You can just use uh, regular garlic salt or salt. But prepare everything so it gets evenly cooked. I want to make sure I have enough room so we can, you know, mix it. <laughs> mix it. Mix it. Step one: vegetables in the bowl. Step two: you want to grab your oil and you're gonna drizzle it all over the veggies. Got a head full of snacks, better grab an umbrella, I make it right, I make it right, I'm in this bitch. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb. Now we're gonna just grab the pepper and then twist a little bit. Twist my fingers with my hands, just do my thing, yes, and cut my pants, and twist my fingers with my hands. That pepper on there. <sighs> Thought I was gonna sneeze. <sighs> we got the pepper. Mix it around. And finally, we're gonna grab the last ingredient, which is the tahini. We can go ahead and sprinkle it all over. Oh. There you have it. Get that close up so you got to take a look. It almost looks like pepino and limon, but it's so, you're gonna like the way it tastes as soon as it's done. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab a big pan and then just slap the, the veggies onto the pan. Because we already put oil in the veggies, we don't have to do anything as far as putting the oil onto the pan. So uh, let's go ahead and throw them on there. Now we're gonna take the veggies, slap them onto the pan. We're gonna let them roast for a while and uh, check up in like two, three minutes. As you can see, starting to cook. Turn them over. We wanna get this nice, golden brown. So, turn them over. So the first batch is done. I went ahead and put them inside my container. What we're looking for is a nice golden brown on the zucchini and then also on the squat. When they're nice and cooked, you basically just pair this with your rotisserie chicken breast or pechugas and you have yourself a meal. Like I said, this is a very lean meal, uh, very low carb. You're just getting the carbs from the vegetables and then you're getting uh, all protein with the chicken breast or the pechuga in your in your meal so i love this recipe it tastes great uh, it has it has a little bit of kick of it because of the tahini that we put in and you know it's just another way to mix it up if you're trying to get on the lean side of things um if not you can totally pair this with brown rice you can totally pair this with sweet potatoes roasted sweet potatoes or baked potato uh, other ways to get your carbs in if you're on a calorie surplus but if you're trying to lean out this is an excellent way to give your veggies good flavor, but then also get your protein in. As always, we got our rotisserie chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. Personally for me, I like to get eight ounces of chicken. Um, if you're not gonna have that much in a seating, you can start at four ounces, and that'll get you about, um, four ounces of chicken is about 21 grams of protein. So you're gonna get 21 grams with each four ounce serving. So I'm going for 42 grams with the chicken. Um, so let's go ahead and slice it up. So here's something cool that I did that I normally, I've never done. 
in like my entire time uh, lifting and prepping my own meals. It's always been where I eyeball my food. So I like I'll look at the label, look how much grams of protein I'd be getting. But as of late, I decided to make an investment into a scale. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh out the food that we're about to have, so you can see for yourself what we're getting for each meal with this with these rotisserie chicken recipe. So as you can see, I have this zeroed out right now. I got a plastic over it just so it doesn't get the scale dirty. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a couple ounces of chicken. And then that's gonna equate to how many grams of protein that we're gonna be getting. So as you'll see here, the scale reads exactly eight ounces of chicken. That's how much that looks like. Eight ounces of veggies. So this is the recipe we just conjured up. We got that zucchini and squash. So let's put it all together. Rotisserie chicken with sauteed zucchini and squash. Sprinkle with a little bit of tahini. All that's left is time to take a bite. That was our rotisserie chicken, zucchini, and squash with a little bit of tahini recipe. So quick prep, quick prep, quick prep. Uh, it takes about eight minutes to make. Again, the chicken's already made, so all you gotta do is slice it up. If you wanna measure it out like I did, so you know exactly how much protein you're getting, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and with the veggies, there's a little bit of prep depth to it. You just chop up the veggies, and then you throw them into the bowl, put in all the ingredients, pepper, tahini, oil, mix it up, throw it on the pan, two side two minutes each side so they come out a nice golden brown and then put it all together thanks for tuning in we'll see you on the next video